while we are in the hot throes of summer, here they have knit pumpkins and gourds for your daily decoration. What next? Pumpkin lattes? More drinks that taste like potpourri? actually like this art collection. It might be mass produced, but maps just never get old. This is one of the nice things about Hobby Lobby is that everything is always so well organized and color coordinated. I mean, I mean, they do a really good job about making sure everything's faced up, you can find things, and if you just need to mix and match, they make it way too easy. Especially in the acrylic solids. You know what I mean. See Christmas yarn still? They know what we are addicted to all year. It's really hard not to feel like a kid in a candy shop, seriously. Just so many possibilities, so many projects with almost no restraint. As the song goes, I want candy, I want candy. I don't know if y'all have tried, yes, this Yarntopia stuff by Yarn Bee, but for 100% acrylic, it's exceptionally soft. Like, almost borderlining on Angora Rabbit Soft. And I do not put that term lightly. I've owned Angora. I know what that kind of soft is. So, even though it's a really thin yarn, put two of them together you will still, it's just as soft. Y'all should also try this 44th Street blush. I think that's the color. They really are that squishy because this is the best mimic of 100% Angora I've ever felt. You will not be disappointed out of this acrylic polymide mix. It's amazing. This is why we should definitely cash in on sales as much as possible, at least as far as color goes. You could mix any of those colors together at any given time and they would all look good together or mixed. Especially when it comes to the blues. And they got a little bit of jade sparkle, they have your denims, they have your faded, they have your more ocean colors. More denim, more the jade leaning, and of course, speckled. You just can't beat it. Plus that whole other color palette. No offense to nobody, but a dollar twenty-seven for a thin, stretchy elastic sequin band. I can go to Goodwill and get a fat band as a belt already made for the same price. That's what I say. Full little girl's belt from Goodwill. The same price. It's four times as wide for about the same price. Just saying. Every craft store has that one section in the back where everything's always on clearance. Finding that is one of the best things ever for off-season stuff. Here we have your fundamental 100% cotton with the high twist, which makes it rather rope-like. Or like that other cotton stuff that I used that I ripped out because it was just too tight. And then this is also 100% cotton. The Sugar Wheel Cotton, which has a much looser twist as you can see. And it's actually a lot softer because of it feels more like a medium to extra soft acrylic 
So that would be worth it. And all these mixed colors. Hmm, and rainbow. And the solids are kept in a completely different section. Now, this is one of the real reasons I came here today because I've been hearing things about I love this cotton. It is 100% cotton. The balls are, let's see if I can find it on here, $3.79 a piece. Put it on here. I was thinking about getting some of these for dyeing. But they have all kinds of colors. Good wall of it. Ooh. I like that mix. They are getting better about their kool-aid colors or their vintage mixes or what colors people want to see together a little bit of sparkle on that one it's like the other ones where the twist is medium tight but not so tight where it feels rope like It's got good squish, like actual fluffiness to it. How many yards is this? 180 yards for 379. You can do the math from there. I found the second best thing to that Viking yarn that I got off of Etsy. Uh, it's Dream Spun. By yarn be almost the same thickness and some of the most amazing colors only they had blue and white and not red and white but as they say Christmas is coming that's quite bright hmm, those are pretty I needed a lamp. If only. Actually, I got that same one at an auction for like two bucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just too frugal for my own good sometimes. And I made that one with the rack. I didn't use chicken wire like they did, but I still got mine to light up with Christmas lights on the inside. That's in a different video. Can we say Lady Marmalade Moulin Rouge? Oui, oui, mes petits. Yarnologist, okay. I think we're all overqualified in that. Pencils. Mugs. Okay. Puzzle. Okay, interesting concepts, all of them. Hmm. Currently, I am in the embroidery section. But if anyone needs help with sewing anything later on, these new tools are perfect for threading a needle um, and just little helpful things that are thumbing it so you don't puncture yourself too much and as much as I'm against certain I'm not against everything just sometimes you just need something to make it easy so you can enjoy it just saying it is what it is you just need life to be easy for a moment. And this section is gonna make life nice and easy. Especially when it comes to thread. Any kind of thread. Mm. 
And for the record, if you cut fabric thin enough, it's easier to crochet it than it is to knit it. If you want to jump on this bandwagon. But then braiding can be fun too. The shining one's only $10, but at the same time, I know I can get a purse that's just as clean and the same size, and you can close it if I go to Goodwill or any other secondhand shop. And these bigger organizational totes are 15, which I already have too many of, and I need to organize better at the house. So I will refrain today. Okay, y'all. This is a cross stitch pattern. Had all little X's with some lines. While this is embroidery. There's no X's. You have to know a lot of different stitches to get all those little textures and patterns and this is not this by any means. Now this is a very short hair fleece. The fleece is not very thick whatsoever. This is fabric. As I say, it's 60 by 35 inches. So it's not even like a full yard necessarily. This yarn, believe it or not, is fabric that they cut. This is cut fabric. It's a much longer hair, but this fleece is the same exact type of this fleece and so we have two dollars and 74 cents or we have this is why craft supplies are so so subjective know your prices know your product i mean it works out like this in the end every time if you get your gauge right Every few stitches can be a different color and have it look seamless, and it's just really cool. I love this type of dotting. It's so much better than when they just throw acid powder on it and hope it sticks. I know I've shown this before, but I'll make sure no one dare forget Sparkly Velvet. Ever. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Did I mention by any chance that it's still 110 degrees outside? But here we have the most beautiful fall fake flowers decor for your uh, house needs. <laughs> and of course the wall of candles. There are many walls of candles. It's a trip for the senses. Caught the lady doing the seasonal sale. A dollar twenty-four a ball, people. A dollar twenty-four a ball. Woohoo! And I got mostly cotton, even though the gray acrylic is on top. I did let my local community have a head start, and this is what was left from what. They did not buy. There's a lot of cotton, a heck of a lot of cotton. But for prices that were just too cheap to not grab, even the ones I didn't particularly care for the color of, <laughs> color's color. So long as it's mixed right, anything can be made to look good. And I really, really wanted to try this yarn. So glad I didn't buy it before. I've never had ice cream yarn, so I got ice cream yarn. And a color I adore. And of course, all the crafters' secret. More cotton, cotton, cotton. I'm not going to use that for washcloths. Probably just tank tops. Because it is hot in Texas. Or any other blanket, whatever thing you feel like making. You can't beat those prices, people. If you need to pause the video to absorb, please do. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. This is what the sky normally looks like when things are good in Texas. Mm -hmm.